Here's a fun winter Christmas time lesson that covers math, reading, and writing. Welcome to Lessons for Little Blessings, where we talk about reading, writing, math, and other activities to help your children thrive. So I wanna share some resources about a gingerbread story unit. And all you need is some version of the gingerbread man story. You can print out some of the links in the description below, and then your lesson is done. So what I love about doing the gingerbread man story around Christmas time is number one, kids love the stories. They're fun and engaging. And number two, there's so many different versions that you can really take it a step further where you could read, you know, a couple different stories, compare, contrast. The students can make text to text connections. So there's so much that you can do with it. All of these printouts you see and some of the different gingerbread man stories, I'll link in the description box below. So feel free to just jump over there, print them out and use them as you'd like. The rest of this video, I'm just gonna give you a sample lesson idea and um, just to give you some ideas of how you might use this. So the first thing I would do is focus on reading by doing a read aloud. So this is great for all ages. Um, but whether you're working, say, one-on-one -on -one with your homeschool child, or maybe you've got a few children, or an entire classroom. So just start by reading the story aloud to your uh, child or class. Um, as you read through the story, you can talk about different vocabulary that they might not be uh, familiar with, and then just asking questions throughout the story to try to get them to remember so that they can do the next part which is retelling the story. So I like a just a simple beginning, middle, end retell, especially for the younger ages. It's just a little more simple for them to remember what they've read. Um, but these thinking maps, I'll put a few here, um, but these are great for reading comprehension, which is a very important skill. As they go through, they need to be able to understand what they're reading or what they're hearing read to them. So um, this beginning, middle, and end is a great one. And then also a uh, story elements where they identify the, um, the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution, which most of the gingerbread version stories um, do a great job at including that in the story. So those would be some of the reading activities you can do. And depending on the age of your child, you could have them do it independently if they're older and can handle that. And if they're younger, like preschool, kindergarten, maybe even first grade, um, you might do it with them or have them do it with a buddy or partner. If they can't write it, then you can also write it with them, but have them say it to you because then that's still having them have to use those reading comprehension skills. So even if you're doing the recording, just having them verbally tell you is still really beneficial for them. So moving on to some writing activities you can do. You can do the same gingerbread story that you read with your reading and just stick with that throughout. Or you could read a different version, say, and then do that for the writing activity. So here's an idea of something to do. You can do a first, next, last, um, thinking map or graphic organizer like this to help organize your students thinking. So kind of the brainstorming of it. And they will kind of think about what happened first, what happened next, what happened last. Now that's really similar to a beginning, middle and end. Um, so if you wanna tweak it a little bit and do something a little different, you could have them write a story about how to catch a gingerbread man. So they can kind of create it themselves. So they come up with, what happened first in their story, what happened next, or what happened last. And then they can use that chart to then write sentences and make a story out of it. So that's one idea. You could also give them the, um, the story elements chart where they can come up with their own version of the gingerbread man and do the character setting problem solution. So they could also use that to transfer over to writing paper as their own story. And a fun thing to do with writing that I would end a lot of lessons with is an author's chair because students love to share what they've written. 
So you could do that, kind of let different students, or if you've just got your one child homeschooling, just have your child read you their story. And then if you've got extra time or just wanna throw this in, they can have a little piece of paper and illustrate their story also. So we did the reading and the writing, and then we're gonna wrap it up with math. Obviously you don't have to do it in this order, this is just a sample lesson. So for the math, this is more um, just kind of independent work. I'll put some games here that just have a little fun gingerbread theme, but you could really do them any time of year. Um, the one that I was gonna mention, just because these are a little different, these it's called Dice in Dice. And for one of the games, you can use this and roll it just once, and it will have the face of the dice on the outside, and then there'll be one on the inside. Um, so you could just use two dice if you don't have these. These are just a little fun, different thing um, for the kids to play dice games. So we've got some of these and my son loves it. But feel free to use those math worksheets as you'd like and by themselves. They could do them with partners, some of them. And um, yeah, so I hope you and your child have enjoyed some of these gingerbread lessons. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more math, reading, and writing activities for your kids. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day. Merry Christmas.